Um, well, can you tell us what is an electronic cigarette? Sure. Electronic cigarettes are a method of delivering nicotine. Uh, first invented, uh, well, actually it goes way back to uh, the tobacco companies started experimenting with uh, nicotine, adjusting the nicotine in cigarettes. Uh, in the 60s, the first synthetic nicotine was used by the Swedish uh, uh, scientists to uh, give a supplement to, to Swedish uh, uh, submarine sailors where they couldn't smoke. So it, that turned out to be nic Nicorette, the gum. And then uh, it was a Chinese pharmacist who developed this. It's a, a, a canister that looks like a cigarette usually, but it doesn't have to. It has a chamber in it where you can put nicotine flavoring and usually a, 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 a fluid vehicle, water, propylene glycol, to make smoke, if you will. And then in a heating element, an electronic control. So this, is, this solution is heated, you breathe it in, and uh, of course exhale it. Now, in some ways, electronic cigarettes isn't the, quite the proper term because uh, they don't have to be a cigarette. They could be a hookah or anything else. In fact, people who don't want to be seen smoking sometimes would have a, a memory stick looking like a cigarette. Um, or, and sometimes they're called uh, nicotine delivery devices, and that's more scientific, if you would. However, that's not exactly correct either because you don't have to d deliver nicotine, although over 90% of the people who smoke uh, have nicotine in there. There's a lot of controversy in the public health community around these electronic nicotine or other delivery systems. Can you talk about that controversy? Why is there even an issue? Well, the, um, the people who favor, who are uh, uh, electronic cigarettes are, 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 um, are say, they, they have the following premise. Uh, most of the harm that's done from tobacco or combustible cigarettes is due to the tar that's produced. The tar is largely responsible, or seems to be responsible for lung cancer, emphysema, bronchitis. So if you have a system where you take the tar out, then you can get all the good things about smoking or, and reduce the harm, or harm from it. And therefore, why not let everybody use these? Now, the, if you look at this, there's this premise that um, this is a harm reduction tool. You say the first question you ask is, well, what's causing the harm? Who's causing the harm? And uh, it's the tobacco companies or the uh, manufacturers of electronic cigarettes. And if you are as old as I am, you know that uh, the history of tobacco is such that they have uh, constantly or many times through the years uh, deceived the public saying that this new product is filtered cigarettes, for example, in the, maybe the 50s. Uh, these are harm, less harmful. And then uh, after those were not shown to be less harmful, they, they said uh, low tar, uh, ultras and things like this, these are left har less harmful. They turn out not to be less harmful either. So one of the problems is that we don't know. This is a new, uh, a new, uh, a new product that is now widespread and the cigarettes, the harm of lung cancer, cancer takes years, 10, 20 years to develop. So we don't really know about this. So that's one problem with this and a major one. The second one is who's causing, who's giving this harm or what's the harm caused by? And it's by the tobacco companies, as I said, and, and we're not so fond of that uh, effect. Why not just not use tobacco, which seems to be a much better. The, the other thing, the other uh, counter premise or the other uh, uh, reasoning is that nicotine is actually uh, quite an amazing compound. It affects almost every cell in the body and it particularly accept, uh, infects, uh, affects the uh, nervous system. So, and it has several properties that make it very uh, disconcerting. One is that it's extremely addicting. It's more, at least as addicting as cocaine or almost any other uh, 
product that you can think of. And there's recently been some studies about the nature of addiction, what causes addiction, and, and, and how it develops biochemically. And those studies show that uh, nicotine actually is, causes changes in DNA that can be permanent. It, it doesn't actually cause the DNA, but the, the proteins that are around the DNA are uh, prevented from expressing the DNA so that uh, youth who develop, start smoking is much li more likely to develop addiction uh, to say cocaine because they have this addictive uh, property that may last a lifetime. Are, are there other harms of e-cigarettes for children or young people besides just addiction? Oh yes, many actually. Uh, the, there's, a, there's an enormous literature actually on smoking in pregnancy or smoking in children and the harms that are done and, and there's just a variety of things, small birth weight, uh, prematurity, more infant death, and then adult diseases, interestingly, or teenagers are more likely to have, uh, to have bronchitis and other diseases, but adults are more likely to have uh, diabetes and a whole bunch of other diseases if you, if you smoked as a child. And so, are, these, are these the case with electronic cigarettes well, that's, as well as regular cigarettes? That's it. So this, the, the literature is very clear on, on smoking combustible cigarettes. But as we get more familiar with just the effects of nicotine itself, it turns out that nicotine itself is responsible for many of these. For example, the heart disease, now this is an adult smart more, but heart disease is largely a nicotine product. It's not a tar product. Well, may, tar may have some effect on it too, but so if uh, you take the nicotine away, um, the, the, the uh, cardiovascular disease risks fall fairly soon. Um, no, there are a number of, of uh, other experiments. I actually was uh, part of a, a study many years ago uh, giving mice nicotine uh, to m pregnant mice and then looking at the lungs of the babies, either as a fetus or the newborn. And there are, major, there are significant changes that occur in this, in the newborn mice, so that just exposure to nicotine allows them to be, uh, the, their, the lungs are different, They're, the growth is not as good and so forth. Um, actually just nicotine exposure alone may change a number of other uh, parameters as well. Good to know, thank you sir. Thank you.